Joe Walker in Holy Musical Batman. Oh, that's right. We're talking about Star Kid, the comedy musical theater troupe whose stage parodies of pop culture became consistent smash hits on YouTube and launched Darren Chris's entire career. You direct Black Swan. After two Harry Potter musicals, a loose Starship Troopers homage, and a musical about a singing penis, the team set their sights on Batman. If Superman and Spider-Man can get authorized musicals, why not a parody musical for the Bat? Batman strikes again, once more battling his arch nemesis. Joker. Holy musical Batman. After their recent run-in, the Joker was last seen falling from the Greater Gotham Bridge. Holy musical Batman. Though his body has not yet been found, it is unlikely the Joker survives his latest encounter with the Batman. Holy musical Batman. This just in, Joker's body has been found at Gotham Pier. He is dead. Batman. Although the songs are upbeat and the aesthetic draws from the campier takes on Batman, the show parodies the entire Batman legacy, but takes special target at the more fascisty Frank Miller Batman. Please don't hurt me because I'm one of the hostages! No! Oh god! Look at those little wretched pinhead puppets of Gotham. They all look like bullseyes from up here. You saved my life, Batman! Don't know how I could ever repay you! Let my parents die, will you? Well, you're all criminals in my eyes. You just haven't committed any crimes. Yet, I'm the goddamn Batman! Here we have a Batman who is completely oblivious to his privilege. That'll teach you to dabble in crime once. Support your families like the rest of us. Be born billionaires. Be a born billionaire and have your butler build a jet. That's the American way! And a Batman with absolutely no leniency when it comes to what he perceives as crime. That's a dollar bill. Well, I must have taken it from the register by accident. Should I return it now or in the morning? You know what? I'll just do it in the morning. That's just Stop, fine. Stop, thief. Oh, we know Batman. It's such a perfect parody of maybe not any actual Batman story, but that larger cultural idea of Batman as a billionaire who just beats up criminals and sees criminals as criminals, not as like people who have gone wrong, but like there's citizens and then there's criminals. And it's worth spending your money on toys to help you beat criminals up instead of, you know, ways to help reform criminals and prevent the societal injustices that lead to criminals. And yes, I know there are Batman stories that actually address these things. It's not necessarily an authentic take on Batman that this is spoofing, but the cultural idea of Batman is, it's, it's, it's just perfectly spoofed here. God help me, I'll never walk again. God's not up here, only Batman. The one thing that made me happy, the one thing that I liked, who's being more powerful than everyone else. <laughs> Soaring godlike in the sky, blasting laser-guided precision missiles, crippling misguided youngsters that I'd never met. And Joe Walker's performance as this Batman is such a perfect mashup of Christian Bale's darkly dramatic gravelly voice with Adam West's deadpan overacting. This world, it's rotten, Alfred, rotten to the core. It's just full of people who kill your parents and fly faster than your plane. But also just like the dancing is so goofy and like the fact that the costume has sneakers, like that should not make me laugh as hard as it does, but I just love it. Look, it would be funny enough just juxtaposing the gritty Batman with elements of a lighthearted musical but this goes the extra mile by really showcasing how emotionally stunted someone who had their childhood ripped from them might be. Hey, that's a pretty nice plane you got over there. Thanks, I built it myself. You know, you should get it looked at because it's not very fast. Well, yes, of course. Of course it's not very fast. That's because it's my old plane. Old plane? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Got another one? Yeah. It's my new plane, and I don't bring it out during the day, so you'll probably never see it, but it is... Fast. Really? Uh -huh. How fast? Faster than you. And Walker channels those stunted emotions into, well, childishness, which is hilarious when he's still doing the Bale voice. You can't stay in your pillow fort and cry forever. 
Yes, I can. But I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> What kind of surprise? A visitor. I don't like visitors. He's from the circus. <laughs> You like the circus, don't you? Yeah. Plus, the show pokes fun at Batman fans. Uh, the concept of a child crime fighter is ridiculous. It ruins the gritty realism of a man who fights crime just as a bat. So say we all, Excelsior. But in a way that is meant to remind the fans not to be so self-serious about the thing they love, to celebrate it, and to have the perspective to appreciate even the takes they don't love. You know what? Some people think that Robin is stupid. But those people are pretentious douchebags. Because, literally, the only difference between me and Robin is our costumes. Despite basing the parody off of a very reductive idea of Batman, this show is overflowing with love for Batman and for Robin and Superman and just superheroes in general. We should work together more often. God, that would be cool. Imagine it. You, me, Robin, a couple other cool guys. We'd be like a league for justice. And of course, Star Kid's legions of fans have kept the show's legacy alive, leading to at least one moment that went super viral as a TikTok sound years after the fact. I wanna be your friend forever. I wanna be a modern dancer. What is this weird thing to say that came out of nowhere? Catchy songs, colorful costumes, and good-natured ribbing, what more could you want? 